What up, it's your girl Mena. In this video, we are going to be reviewing, using, enjoying the new Fenty Beauty Powder Foundation. Now, I've already used this because I was on vacation and I forgot my powder foundation that I always use, which is the CoverGirl one. I needed one and I was like, you know what? Let me go ahead and grab Fenty because like, why not? I ordered it from Sephora on Instacart and then it was delivered to me. So I've already used this several times. So it's not a first impression. It's more of a review, trying out, showing you basically three different ways that you can use powder foundation. So that this video is not too long. I'm going to make it into three different videos. This is iteration number one. Make sure you watch two and three, of course, because if you just are curious on how to use powder foundation, I'm gonna show you three ways to do that. So in this way, I'm going to use the powder foundation with a foundation, which is what I always do. If you've seen any of my other videos on Instagram or on YouTube, then you know that I always put a powder foundation on top of my foundation and it just really seals everything in, brings the color back into play and it just looks bomb. I'm gonna do that iteration of it in this video and then in two other videos we're gonna try it out in two different ways. I'll speed everything up and get to the powder foundation application part of it and then talk through it there. Now I am gonna use the Fenty Pro Filter Soft Matte, what do you call this? Fenty Pro Filter Soft Matte Longwear Foundation. It is a wicked matte and for that reason I'm not going to put a primer on because my skin's natural oils will already come through and I'm not gonna need to really hydrate in that sense. I don't want to be too dewy but I don't want to be too matte either because this one will do it for me so I'm not gonna put a, prim a primer on. So yeah, now let's get started. <laughs> Alrighty now, if you haven't already seen my video on concealers, you need to make sure you watch it because there's something to be known about using such a matte foundation like this one with a matte concealer like I used today, which is the Morphe one. I used it in a very strategic way, which was really fast. <laughs> so watch that video on concealers to understand what I'm talking about when it comes to certain foundations and certain concealers. This is a point in time where I put on my powder foundation. One thing to know, like I said, about the, con about the foundation is that it's very, very matte. And my face is looking pretty matte right now which I actually enjoy. And normally I use the CoverGirl Full Spectrum one. It literally looks like a powder. Some powder foundations will look a little more creamy than this. So to me, that means that it has more foundation in it than powder. The formula is more of a foundation. Whereas this one looks to me more of a powder. Like, does it feel soft? Yeah, I mean, I suppose, but it still feels like a powder. I wanna bring down the highlight. I like to highlight light. That's just what I prefer. But then I use a powder foundation to bring the look all in to even out these harsh lines to make it look amazing. It does add a little bit more coverage to the face. That's not necessarily what I'm looking for, but that's what ends up happening and I'm okay with that. Now what I could have done was use a lighter Fenty powder to set my under eye, but I'll do that in a different video. For this one, I'm gonna use the color 450, which is my foundation color. I thought I was gonna need to use a darker color, but when I went in store and it was swatched for me, I understood what they meant. They're like, no, the color will look different in the pan, but it actually will match you. So I just trusted the lady and I grabbed 450. So it's really overly exposed because of my lights. So here you have the product. This is 450. You got a mirror on the top and then you have a whoop. Bless God, not the sponge coming out. Then you've got a mirror at the bottom and this sponge. I don't know anybody in 2021 using a sponge to put on their foundation. Maybe your mom, I, you know, bless her heart. I can't imagine it. Because I'm putting it on at this stage and I already have foundation on my face, I've already got the coverage that I want. I really wanna just smooth things out. I'm going to use a powder brush, but if I wanna really pack on the coverage, I would use a flat kabuki brush. This one from NYX is angled. I really would use something maybe like this from Sephora, but this is even kind of small. I wanna cover my face. I'll use a bigger flat kabuki brush to really get that coverage. And we'll do that in a different video. In this video, I just want to, like I said, even all of this out. So I'm gonna use this fluffy brush from Complex Culture and take it all over, tap off the excess. And I like to start right here. And when I'm applying it, I'm focusing on this outer area because why? That's where the, con the contour and the highlight meets. And the whole purpose of this is to really bring 
bring everything together. And then of course, I'm just like going in this general area to what? Smooth it all out, bring everything together. Taking some more now and I'm gonna start here. Not trying to take away any of my highlight, but just go over. Now, do you see a difference? Do you see a difference? Comment and let me know. More evenness, more of a flow over here. Let me do my under my chin. More evenness, more of a flow over here as opposed to this side where like, hello, stark line, stark line, stark line. And that was intentional because I wanted to set my highlight. Now I wanna really finish off the look and that's where the powder foundation comes in to bring it all together. Now, of course you could use a sheer foundation, but again, I like the bit of coverage that the powder foundation gives because it looks bomb, like why not, you know? Taking some more and there we have it, okay? I still like my nose contour to show, like hello. But really and truly, that is how I apply my powder foundation and uh, hello, it, it looks the bomb. Mm -hmm. Her bomb, his bomb, everyone's bomb, you know? That is 450 and she was right. When I looked at it, I was like, this is too light, what are you doing? But she was right, it looks really, really good. So there's that. Now I'm gonna finish off my face and we're gonna come back and I'm gonna let you see how all of it looks when it's just all one picture, when it's all one picture. I want you to, as you're watching, comment below, let me know. Do you wear powder foundation, number one? And number two, do you wear it like this? Do you wear it in this fashion on top of your highlight and your, and your foundation? I want you to let me know, but let's finish off this look. Okay, so this is the finished look. This is my basic everyday makeup look, which in actuality is a brown smoky eye look that I like to do on an everyday basis when I'm just doing my basic look, right? In fact, today I have a photo shoot and this is also my photo shoot look. So here you can see, after I put the powder foundation over my face, the base part of my makeup routine, I only put the bronzer on the perimeter of my face and that was it. So essentially I finish the face before I do my eyes and then of course blush and all that, right? But you know, you get what I'm saying. I love the Fenty Pro Filter Powder Foundation. This is a long, a long word. I love the powder foundation. 450 is definitely my color, as you can see, and so is the 450 in the foundation. In the summertime, I think I was wearing 460, but right now, definitely 450 is working for the kid, you know? I want you to comment below and let me know what you think about this routine, if you're familiar with me doing it, if you've been around for a while, and if you do the same thing. Do you put your powder foundation on after the foundation, the concealer? Do you even wear powder foundation? Do you do a mineral foundation? foundation. Additionally, let me know if you are looking forward to the two other iterations of this video, trying out this product in two different ways. All links are below to products that I used and I want you to give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and thanks for being here. Bye.